Hello and welcome to the scripture takeaway with the sweet pea. Uh, today we will be talking about mocking God. Um, yesterday I wrote on my wall on Instagram um, some things about mockery. You might want to check it out. It's at the sweet pea. Uh, T H E S W I T P E A. That's my handle on Instagram. I wrote about um, you know believers who have been mocked, so you might want to read that up. But today here we will be talking about mocking God. Today's inspiration will be taken from the book of Galatians, chapter six, verse seven. It reads, "Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man rips." what he sows do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man rips what he sows now this um principle goes throughout the bible uh it talks about the kind the quantity and the quality matthew 5 7 says blessed are you merciful for they shall obtain mercy matthew 7 verse 1 to 2 talks about you not judging so that you will not be judged because i had to say in the same way that you judge others you also will be judged in luke 6 38 it says give and it will come back to you good measure press down chicken together running over be careful what you give this year that's about our time let's go straight into the key part the first part says do not be deceived now if you remember in genesis in the book of genesis where satan deceived eve Eve chose to believe the lies that Satan told. It was an automatic. She had a will. God gave us a will. God gave us a choice. He wants us to choose him always, but he's not going to force himself on us. So when you believe um, the lies of the devil, it means that you are, uh, there's a kind of unbelief or distrust that you're attaching to god's word so you disobey him there is a kind of deceit attached to sin so that's you lying to yourself that what the devil is saying is true second part says god cannot be mocked we believers mock god by choosing to believe satan we mock god by covering up our sins unbelievers mock him by uh, pretending that he doesn't exist or by acting like he's not coming back to judge the world so confessing your sin without genuinely repenting is also making a mockery of god he sees the heart the third part says a man reaps what is so to be called a christian you're redeemed washed by the blood saved by jesus christ and you have god's grace you have a covering of god's grace so you are expected to do good works you're expected to do good works meaning that whatever seed you're sowing as a believer should be good seed so you need not worry what comes back to you because you should be sowing good seed but also note that if you sow bad things it will come back to you as christians we are saved uh by grace through faith alone however faith without works is nothing so. these are things that you so you so love so peace you know be merciful unto others be compassionate those are things that i expect those are works are part of our work you so in spirit you rip the reward when you sow in the flesh you will rip the destructive reward praise the lord we're going to this new year do not cover your sin when you sin, go to God and ask for forgiveness, okay? Our God is a merciful God. He will always forgive you and cleanse you of all of your unrighteousness. Well, thank you for joining me on today's episode of the Scripture Takeaway. I hope you have an amazing year. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for the entrance of your word. Give light and understanding to the simple. Lord, as I have sown this seed into you, the heart of your people, Lord, let it germinate in the name of Jesus. Amen. See you again next time. Oh, you too.